guys, I'm Coach Jacobs, I'm the Director of Strength and Conditioning here at ULM. I wanted to send you a video of kind of some of the basic things that we do for warm-up here at ULM. Now your warm-up is going to consist of 40 yards broken into two 20-yard zones. So starting off, you're going to have a sheet attached to this email. Okay, make sure you're following the sheet. Now we're going to get rolling on what we're doing. So your first exercise, toes always start behind the line. You're going to work down zone one, the first 20 yards, what we call the knee hug. You're going to put both hands on the front of your knee, toe up, hug it up, up onto your opposite toe, take a step, right into the next one. You're going to do that continuously for 20 yards. Okay, after you've worked the knee hug for 20 yards, you're going to go into what we call backwards cap. So you're going to flip around and you're going to be working backwards for the next 20 yards. Okay, equaling out to 40 yards. Don't go 20 yards and then work back to where you started. On the backwards calf, you're just going to put your heel in front of your body, toe up, leg straight. You're going to come down, try to swipe the ground, good stretch, long arms, come all the way back up, step into the next one right back down. Make sure that you guys come up in the middle between each stretch and you're stretching on every step. So you've worked 40 yards. So you work the knee hug and you work the backwards cap. Now you're going to work back. You're going to start with walking quad. The walking quad, you're going to grab same arm, same leg. Make sure your knees stay together. Push your hips forward. Reach up onto your toe, balance, step into the next one, right into the next one. Once you get to the second zone, the second 20 yards, you're going to go into what we call ankle grab. You're going to need to grab one hand behind the heel, one hand on the shin, chest tall, pull it up towards your chest, up onto your toe, step right into the next one. Make sure you guys take your time and balance. Get a good hug and a good stretch. Ankle grab through the line, you're going to work back 40 yards again. Okay, zone one is going to be an A skip. Make sure your chest is tall, hips are under you. You're working on getting a little hop, driving your knee up, toe up, fast off the ground, coordinate your arms. Make sure you're pulling that toe up fast, it stays flexed up towards your shin, fast off the ground. When you get to zone two, just immediately transition, flip around, you're gonna go into backwards A skip. Same thing, everything stays in front of the body, push through the ball of your feet, to get you moving backwards, pull that knee up, toe up fast, keep your chest up. Make sure you finish all the way across the line. Once you have finished the A skip and backwards A skip, you are going to do a lateral A skip. So you're going to be moving laterally. You're on the line, you're lined up, right shoulder facing out where you want to go. Concentrate on pushing from the back leg. You're going to start with the back leg, same A skip motion, but you're pushing to move, pushing to move. You're going to do that for 20 yards facing one way, and then you're going to flip and face the other way as soon as you get to the next zone. So zone one, the first 20 yards, face one way. Zone two, face the other. Make sure you're not crossing your feet. You're picking your back foot up, putting it right back down, knees at hip level. Sheet, you will see 50% buildup. Coming out of a three-point stance, you're going to build up to 50% speed as fast as you can. And you're going to hold it the whole way. You are working this the whole 40 yards. Make sure you finish past the line. And the next one you will see lateral shuffle to lunge. Again, moving laterally, you'll start with one foot on the line, whatever shoulder is the way you're going. Okay, so I've got my right shoulder is here. I'm moving to my right. You're going to do two shuffles. One, two, Set your feet, you're going to reach down and back to the right, work your depth, opposite leg straight, make sure this heel is behind the toe. Come up in the middle, 
reach down and back to the left. As soon as you come up, you're shuffling two shuffles right into the next one. Zone one, you're facing one way and flip it at zone two. So you're working this for 40 yards, facing one way, first zone, and flip it the second zone. Make sure you finish all the way across the line. Right, the next one is high slide. It's just a lateral shuffle with your hands going up overhead. So you're going to keep your toes forward. While swinging your hands up, you're just pushing to move. Push to move. So if I'm working to my right, hands are up overhead, just pushing to move. You're going to flip it at zone two. So face one way for zone one, immediately flip it, face the other way for zone two. Make it continuous, whole 40 yards. Low slide, working back. You're gonna get into a squat stance, feet under your hips. Hands are out in front. Your hands are just gonna drag at the ground as you shuffle and move. You're trying to do this quickly with good technique, staying low to the ground. Try to swipe your hands on the ground, keep your chest up. Not trying to move slow. Shuffle at a good pace. Face one way for zone one. Face the other way for zone two. Make sure you're finishing across the line. All 40 yards, you're gonna go rapid butt kicks. Butt kicks are not kicking your heel back behind you. The way we will perform butt kicks is the way they will carry over to speed training. You're gonna keep your toe up, Knee up in front, smash your calf into your hamstrings, heel up to the butt. You're gonna hold this the whole 40 yards, standing tall, coordinating your arms, knees up, toes up, knees up, hip level, smashing that calf into your hamstring. The last one that you will perform is 75% buildup. Again, lasting all 40 yards, Make sure you're building up to 75% as fast as you can and holding it at 75% all the way past the line. As soon as you are done, you will get into your tempo runs. This is the warm up for your tempo runs. Make sure you are doing this every day to warm up for your tempo runs so you do not have any injuries because you're coming out cold and trying to run.